Hi friends, this is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. Welcome to day two of our Uniquely Vellum card class. This class is so much fun and you can get all of the card kits from this class completely free when you place a $50 online order with me or more December 15th through December 19th, 2022. Yesterday, we made this super cute card. So if you haven't seen the video for this, I'll make sure to add the link to it at the end of this video. And today we're gonna to make another really adorable card. Now remember, you're gonna get the card kits. So the pieces and parts you see to put this together, you're going to get those to make them yourself. Now before we get started, I wanna uh, remind you that we are using the Silly Goose stamp set. And this stamp set is not available till January 5th. However, there are lots of other products in the catalog that you can purchase now. And if you do wanna get this today, then you can always purchase the Stampin' Up! starter kit and your and you can put this right into the starter kit so this is exclusive for demonstrators to order until january 5th now the other thing that we're using is we're using the stylish shapes dies these dies are amazing and they cut a little uh, stitch on the outside and inside of the die cut and i'll be using these throughout the class if you don't already have these these are a fantastic tool to pick up and then we're just going to use inks and papers and all the fun things. Okay, let's get started. Now we're going to start with a pale papaya card base. And this one is cut at four and a quarter by 11. Your card base in your kit will be five and a half by eight and a half. And then one of the fun ways I wanted to talk about using vellum today is using up your vellum scraps. So this is how I store my vellum. I have a little... Um, label here that has vellum on it and the item number and then I just put all of my pieces of vellum that are cut off in this. One of the things that I find tricky is ways to use up vellum scraps. A lot of times I want to use a bigger piece of vellum so there's a few tips I have for you to use your scraps. First one of the ways we're going to use it today is to use it in strips. The other thing to do is obviously save it larger pieces like this for die cutting. You can die cut simple shapes to create interest on your cards. The other thing that you can do is stamp sentiments on these small strips and use them on cards as well. So today we are going to do a fun little pattern and this you will get these little pieces of paper in your card kit. These are from the Dandy Designs designer series paper that's going to be available to purchase or excuse me it's going to be free in um January, January 5th, but we're going to include pieces of this in your card kit, okay? So you're going to want to start out with whatever is going to be in the center. So I think I want, you know, how do I want this to be? So we're going to see, like, this will be the center, and then you're just going to kind of stack and decide where you want your stuff to be. And then we're going to add vellum to the top and to the bottom of this little pattern design. Okay, so that's how we're gonna start. So to attach our vellum though, we don't want to add adhesive to the ends. You're only going to add some glue here in the center. And the reason for that is because we are going to have this vellum peeking out underneath a piece of paper on each end. So we want the vellum to be seen only um, see-through. If you put glue behind vellum, you're going to see it, even when it dries. It leaves like a little mark, so you don't want that. The other fun thing that will happen is that will allow your vellum to kind of pop up on the ends, which will give a little bit of more interest to the card and a little bit of extra texture. So here I'm just going along and repeating a pattern to create a little bit of fun interest in the background. This is a fun technique anytime you need to use up any sort of scraps, honestly, um, but I thought it would be pretty to create just a little pattern here that will just kind of stick out on each end. You'll see here as we get the card finished. Okay. So that's our last piece, and you saw there I avoided going all the way to the end. 
because the glue in the center is gonna hold this in place. Plus, we're gonna add a panel over the top. So here is our basic white panel. This is cut at three and a quarter by five and a half. And we are gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals to add this piece to our card base. Now, I really like to use a lot of dimensionals because I think that a card that either has saggy parts or that falls apart is just, you know, a travesty. You don't ever want your cards to fall apart when your recipient receives them. So always make sure that you're using high quality glue. Um, Stampin' Up! offers a variety of high quality glue products. I really love the multi-purpose glue that I'm using today. And I love Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, but these are two, if you just had to have two um, adhesives in your arsenal and no other adhesives at all, I would highly, highly recommend these two. The glue and then the adhesives. I mean the uh, dimensionals, excuse me. All right, so for our next part, we're going to do some stamping. I have my little goose already mounted here on my clear block. And, you know, speaking of these clear blocks, and I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because we're going to color with, you guessed it, we are going to color with my Stampin' Board markers. So I've got Pale Papaya here dark pale papaya and we're going to use that for his little nose or his beak and then his little feet and um what was I saying I was telling you guys something else and it left me and then we're going to use fresh freesia for his sign so on the outer edge of his sign I'm going to use dark freesia. And then in the center, we'll use the lighter freesia. There we go. And then of course we have to add just a little bit of gray to our goose. We talked about this in yesterday's video, but you always wanna add a little bit of shading, even when something is going to be um, white, you wanna have a little bit of shading because otherwise it just looks like you forgot to color it. It doesn't give you any dimension at all. So by adding just a little bit of gray, you get a little dimension and it just looks great. Still looks white, but it looks really cute. All right, and then we're going to add our cute little stitched circle that we talked about earlier. And I'm just a dimensional girl. I love dimension on cards. So I do love a one layer card, um, but that's usually only if it's like a nice scene card. Otherwise, I want dimension. So we're using a pale papaya stitched circle. Now this will come in your kit. And then of course the stitched white stitch will come in your kit too. We don't stamp anything for you. So I wanna make that clear. Uh, we can't actually, it's against Stampin' Up! policy. So the only time I can stamp something and send it to you is if it's a completed card. I can't stamp pieces and mail it to you. That's against Stampin' Up!'s rules. And then we're just gonna add that. And then for the finishing touch, we're gonna send you a little strip here of pale papaya ribbon. This ribbon is so beautiful. It's called Open Weave Ribbon. And we're gonna send you a little strip so you can make your own bow. Now I tied my bow, I cheated, and I tied my bow before we got on camera because I seem to have the hardest time tying a bow on camera. Now we were talking about adhesives earlier and I wanted to show you this one. This, These are what we call in uh, my home, snot dots. <laughs> they do look like little pieces of snot, to be totally honest with you. They are glue dots and they're just a little piece of glue and you can stick it on a card and then stick something like ribbon to it and it holds beautifully. 
So you can just add it just like that. And this card is finished. Isn't that sweet? I just absolutely love this card. So this was card one and this is card two. And if you join me again tomorrow, we'll show you how to make a third card with using vellum in a fun, unique way. So make sure you tune in again. Now, don't forget to use that special host code. Several of you that did my first class in December wanted the class but forgot to use that host code. And if you don't enter the host code, we don't know that you want the class. And we also uh, get in trouble from Stampin' Up by adding the host code for you. So please, please make sure that you add that host code. One of the things I wanted to mention before I let you go that's really fun is to grab some Wink Estella on your next order. Always add Wink Estella to an order if you're not sure if you have any in your <laughs> arsenal because it's so fun to just add some fun shimmer to uh, little pieces and parts of your cards. Now, you can also paint with these, so they're very versatile. So here I just added a little to the balloon and a little to the sign. I know you can't see it in the video because lighting, but it does add just a little bit of shimmer and it is so beautiful. All right, thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. I hope that you join me again tomorrow for our third video uh, using uniquely using vellum and um, place an order. If you have any questions, reach out, let us know. Thanks.